So women are hitting the wall and men are hitting the ground. Shout out to Business Minded Talk. I was just listening to his um, live stream, well, the playback of it. And um, he mentioned that Sinful the P passed away recently. I'm not sure what the causes were, but as I um, typed his name in the search engine, I'm seeing a few RIP to Sinful the P's out there. So I'd give that maybe it was just a day or so ago that he passed away. And I'm sure by the time I upload this commentary, um, his cause of death will be revealed. So anyway, um, he was more or less talking about the black manosphere being akin to a death cult and that most of the brothers that are going are brothers that were born in the 70s. I have to make a correction there because um, ARC, Kevin Samuels and David Carroll were all born in the 60s. Now I thought that David Carroll was much older than that because the way that David Carroll carried himself, it was like he was a person that was born in the in my in my mother's age group. I thought David Carroll was a baby boomer, the way he carried and conducted himself. But um, business minded talk assessment is a little bit inaccurate, but this commentary isn't about accuracy. I basically want to touch on his point about how, yes, a lot, a lot of the brothers are, you know, being in the ground and so to speak and whatnot. And we go on social media and choose to land bash and ostracize sisters for whatever reason. Now, some brothers have their gripes about them. Some are legitimate gripes, like, you know, you had a divorce thing, the child support thing, and all this other stuff. And then you have some of the younger brothers who may have not had a great deal of experience with sisters and they're only parroting what they heard another content creator or creators that they follow say. They didn't really live it. They live, they're, they're talking about someone else's experiences on it. So I, I'm just saying this to say that at some point at some point, y'all are gonna have to learn how to move past all these different things. And I know why you won't move past it because it's very lucrative and it's very um, profitable. Well, lucrative and profitable mean the same thing. But we'll, we'll, just, we'll just say that it's beneficial beneficial is more of a better word to use than all those other things but anyway after a while you're gonna have to learn how to move past um, whatever traumas or whatever issues some of these sisters may have put you through whether they be sisters that you dated whether they be sisters that you mated with and had children with and all that other stuff because we, we seen the results of what hate does to someone after a long period of time and, and and to let all that hate pretty much affect you inward isn't the business really and i understand you know um these kind of um Top button topics and whatnot. They bring in the views, they bring in the subs, they bring in the Google AdSense and donations. But after a while, after a while, where does it get you? I mean, you can't take all that money to the grave or to the afterlife with you. So, what is it? What What's really good? So, I'm just saying, you know. And, and to ha whoever has good sense out there. After a while, you're gonna have to learn how to play past all this. 
I mean, I get it. You know, it's a hustle. We need to, you know, make 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 this paper out here. But what what kind of message are we really sending? Um, instead of doing all this gender war thing, why don't we talk about life insurance? Why don't we talk about you know going to see the doctor regularly? Why don't we talk about how to um, prepare a will or uh, the steps that you go through to um, draw a will out? Why aren't we talking about that? Why aren't we interviewing a notary republic or something? I mean, we have Dennis Sperling on here and the lead attorney. None of these guys are talking about this stuff. Hell, O'Shea Duke Jackson's a doctor and he's not even talking about any health related issues. He's talking about his celebrity junk thing. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, if he's a doctor or not or still in school, I lost track of that. But still, still, we have all these great minds in the quote unquote black manosphere, but instead the whole discourse is about celebrity gossip. It's about women hitting the wall. It's about um let me let me go over here and um see these better options, whether it's to another non black woman or whether it's to, you know, get my passport and all no, but no one's talking about, you know, let me take care of my health. Let me go see the doctor regularly. Let me um, get my health health insurance, my life insurance. Let me learn how to um, do a will. No one's talking about any of these things. So when somebody passes away, a lot of their fears are in disarray. They're, it's it's total chaos. And, it, and they leave it to um, their surviving relatives and whoever to sort whatever issues they left behind and i'm just saying we need to um be mindful of what messages we put out there we need to preach responsibility we need to um be more um conscious as to what messages we're putting out there for our young people particularly our young black men that are out there if you guys really do care about them so i ain't gonna take too much time on this we're at the seven minute mark so audience tell me what you think let me know in the comment box this is iron wheel media <laughs>